Hello all and welcome to Level Up. Uh, today I kind of have a little nostalgic treat from my childhood. Uh, I actually put a bunch of these top specific cards in a little Tupperware container since probably 99 or 2000. And inside I've, you know, I was actually looking for a binder of some of my old stuff, like the first editions and stuff like that. Uh, as you can see, this generation card, which is your originals from back in the day. Uh, I think I, yeah, see, base two. So I was actually looking for my old binder of these, and I found just a large container of, of Topps cards, which were, I don't know if you guys are familiar with, were the collectibles for that the movie and the television series more specifically. Whereas you would have your uh, trading card game, which are those cards we saw earlier. So what these are, they're specific, like I said, to the television show, the movies, um, and then they had kind of their own uh, spin-off special edition versions. Like for instance, you had, um, we'll, we'll start with the character cards, but uh, this Mewtwo that's translucent, it's actually printed on plastic. Um, then you have each one of your types would have a specific special edition card. For instance, Venusaur, as you can tell on the side of the card, it's actually got little bumps. That's to denote that it's a grass type. The Dratini, or excuse me, or yeah, Dratini would have almost these little saw blades. Uh, that was for your dragon type. And then water type would have these little waves. Um, so these are actually really cool too. Uh, I haven't found a, a single example of them on eBay. I don't even know what the hell those are worth. Um, and then each one of the packs that you would get would come like a little, little sticker pack. So you'd have your Pikachus, um, you would have your starter Pokemon, so Squirtle, Charmander, Bulbasaur. Then you'd have their, their evolution sets, uh, and then a bunch of random stuff. Uh, you know, and somewhere in the back, yeah, we have your Team Rocket set. So these were included in some of the packs right in the back. Uh, other ones would have like a little set list, almost like this. Uh, this is a foil one, actually. And then they would tell you kind of what's inside of these series, I guess. They only did two. So there aren't many of these to kind of go around. And then on top of the limited quantity, not only did you have, you know, only two series, you had only 12 that were specific to the animation movies. So for instance, uh, here you have the animation series. So they don't have a number on them. They don't have anything on them. Uh, and then you only have 12, which are going to be denoted on the back. So you have E12 of 12. Uh, and then, you know, it looks a little bit different than your standard tops. So this would be your evolution channel there, or chain evolution set, we'll, <laughs> we'll put for better wording. Um, but not only do I have those, so you would get a Dragonite set, and then you would have your three starter sets. So obviously we have our Bulbasaur. Ivysaur, which is foil. Uh, they also did a foil version. They, so they actually did two foil versions. You have your standard slick foil, which is that, and then they'll have a textured one, which I'll show you shortly. Uh, so we have our Ivysaurs, our Venusaur, uh, foil Squirtle, more Squirtles. Now, I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick it up, but this is actually the foil textured version of War Turtle. So all over the place, there's these tiny little dots. I know it may or may not come up on camera, um, but it's a texture, like almost like sandpaper, whereas your standard war turtle is very slick. So you can see that there's no texture to it at all. Uh, and then obviously these are all three next to each other. And then your Blastoise, which is, you know, standard foil. And I have a bunch of those as well. So we'll put those aside. Uh, we have our Bulbasaur set aside. And then, I don't know where it ends here, but we'll just grab them. So we have our foil Charmanders, regular Charmanders. A foil Charmeleon, regular Charmeleons. And then you have some standard Charizards in the back, which I didn't luck out and get any uh, get any foils of those unfortunately so my my collection might look a little weird uh, I'm gonna try to try to find one at least uh, and then the final set that or I guess I should say the final evolution set that's in this specific series would be your Dratinis, a foil Dragonair, 
and then a bunch of Dragonites. Uh, and then this is actually another good example. So I was saving this so you can possibly see it a little bit better, which is your textured foil. Um, I think you can kind of see it off to the side. So those are your standard, oh I shouldn't say standard, these are your movie animation special editions. Uh, and then you come into their, I guess their quote unquote flagship trading cards or something like that. Uh, these these weren't like the trading card game where you can actually play them. It was more so just a collectible. Uh, for instance, as you can see, it's a different layout. Oops, sorry, bring the camera over. It's a different layout. You have your Pokemon number, the name, and it's almost like in this little ring. Uh, and that was a standardized set or a setup for a card, I should say. Uh, so Onyx, Slowpoke, Weezing, Rapidash, and Ponyta have that. And then Vileplume, which is that textured. Uh, that textured set we were talking about, so uh, you can see, yeah, you can kind of see it right there. Then you had, you actually had trainer cards, so yeah, I have a foil Ash there, uh, Todd, and then I got a couple Jessies there from Team Rocket. And then you had your standard cards. Uh, these were, these are my non-foils. Um, so you have your Dugongs, your Ponyta, right on. And then it goes on and on and on and on and on. So I've, I've got a ton of them. This set was actually, I think, only limited to the original uh, 151 because I think Mewtwo had its own card and Mew. Um, let me see here on the back. It actually doesn't say. So that's something I'd probably have to look into, but I'm pretty sure that this set was specific to the original 151 because Mew was considered uh, original in this set. Um, so not only do I have those, which are your more collectible ones, these are your movie specific cards. So this is this large stack here, um, as you can see, is all Mewtwo Strikes Back. So they also did these in a foil, which is there, that's your Mew flying in the sky, and then a textured version, which you can kind of see here on the bottom, but it does have that standard like sandpaper version the other card did. Uh, this one I is also completely textured, but I don't know how well it's going to pick. Oh, you can kind of see it there. Uh, the whole card's te textured. Woof! Can't talk today. Uh, and then you have your standard non-foil versions. So I have a ton of those as well, but that doesn't end it. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Then I have Pikachu's Vacation. Uh, this was the mini film at the end of Pokemon 2000. Uh, and these also come, like I said, standard and... Uh, foil as well. Then moving on, you had your television series tops. So these were, for instance, as you can see, based on the uh, animated series. So episode one, I choose you when Ash meets Pikachu. Uh, and then it gives you a little synopsis on the back. These were only for the original series, and I don't think they made the full run. Uh, the, the oldest one I have is actually the Tower of Terror foil. Uh, this is the one where he obviously goes and meets Gengar Ghastly and uh, Haunter, uh, and then your Series 2, which I'll have to kind of read over. I think they're specific to the other version. Uh, so I have those, and then Pokemon 2000. Uh, so this is your movie where they go meet the uh, legendary birds. Meryl is introduced, uh, Snubble. Uh, there's a few uh, Pokemon in here that are introduced there, uh, but these will be your standard uh, foil and non-foil as talking about before. So the Holy Grail, the kind of, the thing that, I, well, obviously it's all pretty important stuff, but the thing that I found that I really enjoyed was um, this authentic film frame card. I know I had it, I just didn't know where it was, uh, and I actually found it kind of tucked into one of these, uh, I had these in like little baggies, so uh, I'm glad I found it. What it is, is a, it's a 35 millimeter frame, uh, film frame, I should say that they cut and they put into these cards. So there's, you only get one. For instance, it's the only one that exists for this specific frame. Um, and there aren't many out there. A lot of people threw these away or thought they were kind of cheesy, but uh, I don't know that you're gonna be able to see through it. Uh, probably not. Yeah, definitely, oh, maybe at that point. But what, what this scene is specifically, once I put it up to my computer here, uh, we have Squirtle, we have Psyduck, uh, Venonat, Meryl, and Bulbasaur all crossing this uh, crossing this little wooden log across a river. Uh, I actually kind of remember the scene, which is kind of funny, but 
Uh, this card is, you know, pretty damn expensive from what I saw on eBay. Uh, a lot of this stuff is nostalgic to me, so I don't know that I'd be selling it. Uh, most of the stuff is going to go in my personal collection, but uh, if I have doubles and stuff like that, you know, obviously I'll, I'll share with the community, but uh, I just thought it was cool to find this stuff. Um, you know, it's I haven't seen it in, you know, well over 20 years at this point, so to see everything in great condition, you know, I'm glad that I was kind of a hoarder at that point. Um, it was pretty cool, but last but not least, I have, uh, I have some stuff that I actually found uh, once I was rummaging around so I don't know how many of you remember the uh, Pokemon trading card game for Game Boy um, this is kind of what would come in it so you would get your little uh, your little booklet then they had this little folding card that would tell you all about it and every way you folded it it told you something different which was kind of cool um, let's see if I remember there you go now we're back to the beginning uh, this would only come in the game and to see it not all completely destroyed is pretty cool, too uh, Let's see what else we have here uh, This would also come specifically in the game only so they had their own uh, card series uh, That you would you know, it'd be slid in there. Um, I was lucky enough to get chancy. I, I think this is the rarest one uh, The Charizard one was surprisingly common as were the other ones um, but to get a non-starter was was kind of impressive. So uh, we have that And then just a little sticker I, I had from 99 uh, to, You know nothing, nothing fancy nothing great, but you know to, to see a dated 99 sticker is pretty cool So this final piece is as I mentioned I, before I was uh, a gym leader in the trading card game league uh, was then basically sending us this little uh, snippet saying that the mechanics and the cards are actually going to change uh, in the next season. So, uh, as you can see, in the second season on January 6th, they were going to introduce the base set 2, uh, and there were going to be new mechanics on those cards. So, it was something they handed out to us to just basically let us educate ourselves on what's coming up and what we should be expecting when as, as playing as a, as a gym leader. Um, but I just figured I'd share all this nostalgic stuff I have here, uh, stuff that I thought was well gone, I, I threw away, or whatever the case may be, and, and finding it was pretty cool. Uh, and then obviously if there's anything here that any of my viewers are interested in, just shoot me a message. Uh, I have no issue sharing this kind of stuff with the community, so uh, that's pretty much it I think today. I'm, I'm going to do an unboxing. Uh, I have some boosters that need to be opened. We'll probably do that in the next video, and then at least an Elite Trainer box or something like that. Uh, I've got, you know, a large order that's coming in today as well as uh, a bunch of stuff that's just kind of stacking up. So we'll start doing some pretty extensive openings and uh, we'll kind of go from there. But again, I appreciate all the views. Um, like, subscribe, thumbs up, uh, share with your friends, click the bell, do all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, and then uh, soon we'll have a setup in my new place. Uh, with a picture on picture so you guys can obviously you know get to know me as a person uh, see my facial expressions and stuff like that versus just my hands which I think is kind of corny but uh, unfortunately I just don't have the setup right now uh, because everything is still plugged into the stream setup which is in front of me and behind me so we'll, we'll kind of revamp all that when we move and then uh, we'll make everything a little bit more intimate so uh, again I appreciate you guys watching uh, and have a good one